Spotlights are an excellent tool to not only call out cool new features, but also provide your users contextual hints and tips that they can access throughout their navigation to help make their experience in your platform a little bit smoother. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the different types of spotlights that you can create. I'm gonna go ahead and click create new content. We're gonna start here and I'm gonna create a spotlight. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and name this Native Tool Tip. Of the types of spotlights we can take a look at, we're gonna focus on native tool tips in this video. There will be another type of video that I'll show you shortly, which is about hotspots. And actually, to be more precise, this video is gonna focus on native tool tips that are actually on a beacon, not on an element. So we'll talk about the differences between those two, but we're gonna focus on the beacon native tool tips in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click native tool tip and I'm going to show you that we're choosing the one that has a badge. The reason for this is because sometimes I wanna provide my users a little bit of information that is just there subtly waiting for them and they, it'll catch their eye and they'll say, hmm, I wonder, I want more information about this and they'll, take, uh, they'll engage with this and I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna go ahead and click select this. And let's imagine that I recently have added this new income box here. And I wanna provide my users just a little bit of information on how to read this graph, for example. So I have to remember that I'm placing this on a beacon. So wherever my little cursor, this little uh, circle is, is where that beacon is gonna be placed. So I'm gonna go actually ahead and put it right here. Now, there are a couple of different types of beacons. So I'm gonna show you that first and then we will figure out the rest of it as we go. So I'm gonna pop into design and you can see that there's a couple of types. There's an icon or a label and we'll show you like the icon first and then I'll show you labels in a moment. It can be a square or a circle. It can also be an icon, a help, an alert, add, maybe they want more information or a pin. I'm gonna put this, leave it as an info button. And of course you can change the color, you can make it stand out a little bit more, that's all up to you. The next things, it's very similar to a standard tooltip back in the UI pattern section, but we can modify its placement. So right now it's kind of covering up um, my, my tool here. So I think I'm gonna put it over here on the top. And um, you can reselect, you can move these around, there's tons of options here. The last thing that I really wanna do is think about a couple of options. Do I want this to trigger on a click or on a hover? I'm going to use this on a hover. And do I want it to be on a badge, which I've already decided I do, not on the actual element? And how frequently do I want this to show up? Do I want this every single time for the users that I determine in my settings? Or do I only want it to trigger one time? I'm going to leave this on every time. A couple of things to think about. These are great just to provide a little bit of information, but you can also embed flows, uh, videos, anything that you'd like directly into this. So for example, if I have created a walkthrough explaining information about income, all I have to do is click plus and add a button and I'm gonna name this button, show me more, and I'm gonna trigger my flow from this. So now I can say, I want this product check-in flow to trigger if my user selects this. And so when they hover over this tool, they're provided a little bit of information. And if they click show me more, this flow will trigger and it'll walk them through everything that they need to know about income, giving them contextual information right when they need it. Now, I also mentioned that we have labels. So I'm actually going to pretend that this flow, I don't actually wanna build this, I don't want this tool anymore. And I'm gonna add a spotlight native tooltip, and I'm gonna use a badge as well. And let's imagine that this new scrum board is actually a brand new tool. So I'm gonna select right here, and I'm gonna place a label here. So instead of having a badge, I'm gonna switch this to a label. Now you'll notice that this text says upgrade. That's not what this new piece of information is about. So I can modify this and I can say new, right? And now I can slide this over. It's a little bit further to the right, so I have two options here. I can go to my settings, and I can modify my placement um, and slide it around if I prefer. Um, I'm gonna move it a little bit further this way, or I can reselect the element overall. And so this is a super interesting way to just say like, hey, we have a new feature, check it out. And exactly the same way previously where I said, do I want this on a, a click or on a hover? And then my frequency, I only want this one time. I want them to see it when they first log in, when it's a new feature, but then I don't need it to be here any further. So. 
These are the two main types of native tooltips. I recommend that if you haven't paid, played around with the settings in native tooltips, definitely check out some of our other videos where we go into more detail about the different setting options. For example, in the UI pattern tooltip video, I talk a lot more in detail about these settings, but I think just playing around and getting uh, accustomed to these tools is a really easy way to start giving your users contextual information right when they need it. Now check out our video about uh, native tooltips on elements and hotspots. Thanks.